All right, so now let's take a look at expression encoder on Windows real fast. And I use expression encoder uh, strictly for processing the WMV file that go to webinar outputs. And this is after the conversion process that we talked about during the webinar section. But it is required to go ahead and convert that out. Sometimes using just that file that Citrix outputs is just fine and other times it's not. So my recommendation is is going to be just go ahead and convert it otherwise uh, you'll waste all your time editing it and then the process will go usually somewhere between halfway through sometimes it doesn't even start. You'll waste all that time trying to see if it'll work. So I recommend just go ahead and convert it. it usually doesn't take too long and then you're good to go. So expression encoder is the best option I've found as far as speed and agility exporting out that file. You can use Camtasia but Camtasia seems to have difficulty processing that WMV file. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. As far as WMV file, that Windows Expression Encoder is the fastest. The only problem is, is to export out a MP4. It requires the Pro version of Expression Encoder 4. So you're also going to have to convert it, which we'll get to that in just a second. We'll actually use a program called Handbrake to convert it. Uh, so this is where you can get Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. You can just search for it, and you'll come up with this page here. It's just a standard installation uh, dialog box. The, the Once you download it, the process will walk you through it. Once you have it installed and open, this is the window that's going to come up first. And... Expression encoder can also be used to record the screen. It doesn't work very well for whatever reason. And there are options out there like Camtasia and Active Presenter that work better with recording the screen. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit Transcoding Project here. And so you just click on it and it'll load up. And whenever it loads up, this is the window that you'll get. And let me pull over a file here real fast. All right, so here's just a webinar that we have. And so I'm going to drop it in here, and it's analyzing it right now. And there we go, it loads up. So this is just a webinar that we that we did previously, um, so don't worry about that. But I just kind of wanted to show you, you know, how this process works. So what you want to do is you'll want to find your start point, which is probably somewhere around in here, and you'll want to right click on it, hit Add Edit, and then go back and select on that clip and hit Remove Clip and it will remove and automatically move that first clip back forward. So you can see it's not a very good editing platform, but it does get the job done for really what we need to. And then you can trim up the end, and you're good to go as far as editing goes. And then you have a couple of options over here you're going to want to check. You remember me talking about the output format. You can't uh, output as an MP4 unless you purchase the product online. And purchasing the product online is... $200. So again, it's really not worth it when we can use free applications to go ahead and convert it to an MP4. But what you are going to want to do here is you're going to want to make sure the video box is checked and make sure the audio box is checked. You're going to want to hit main here for the video and then WMA professional is just fine. And then you want to hit the video drop down box here. And this this right here under this one megabit per second, don't worry about the bit rate, but the size mode is where you can tell it what size you want it to be. So you hit source here, and then we're shooting usually for around 540 height. Hit enter, and then it will automatically adjust that for the width. And so now that is good to go. You can also change the output back here if you want. You can also see where it outputs it as. It outputs it in the documents folder under expression encoder and then output and then the way it names it is original file name dot default extension which will be a, a WMV file so once you're done here again you want to check it here you don't need to do any cropping because this is actually recorded out of go to webinar so you don't have to worry too much about you know the, the cropping on the side because it's going to record the entire full screen uh, you want to check and make sure your size mode here is set to go. You are using a Windows Media option. That's the only option here unless you purchase it. And then video, a VC-1 main is what you want to shoot for. And then audio, WMA Professional. And these are just the 
the settings that I have found that work the best. And then once you're ready to go, just hit this big encode button down here and it will encode it out. And you can see here, it'll just encode it out as a WMV file. So you can see the time here and that'll kind of change. For a two hour webinar, it usually takes about 20 to 25 minutes for my machine. Now my machine is a super fast machine. It is a Mac too, so I have a little bit of power diminished because I'm using parallels, so I don't have the full resources of the Mac, but I do have a super powerful Mac. That's why it doesn't take very long for me. This could take anywhere from uh, 20 minutes to an hour for you guys uh, to process out a two hour webinar. Now you also notice that the screen size was not very big either. The source dimensions was 124 by 768. And there's a reason that we shoot for that. We usually shoot for about 800 tall whenever you're doing a webinar. And the biggest reason for that is is, is because then it limits this size, it, it limits encoding time, and it, it, it also doesn't require as much bandwidth when actually doing the presentation, so you don't notice as many hiccups. So this is Expression Encoder. In the next video, what we'll do is we'll look at Camtasia, and we'll see how editing goes in that. And we've kind of touched on that a little bit before, but uh, we'll take a look at that. So I'll see you there.